We're off in the clouds, it's too good for one's rainbow star, and we are back with Subnautica. So in this episode, we are going to head over... Where's it at? Over there. Although, there was... Let's see. I do believe that back when I was editing one of my episodes, I think I accidentally surpassed... Or, uh, like, passed by something that was probably interesting. Island? Jesus. But I don't know... It was in the mushroom biome, but I'm not sure... We got 20 minutes before the, the sunbeam shows up, so we're fine, but... Because we're in the area. So let's head back to the mushroom biome as best as we can. I think I found... I think it was a time capsule that I saw, but did not... I didn't pick it up. I mean, if I can't find it, it's no big deal. It's just... It would be interesting. God, is the Kush zone just, like, perma-dark? Jesus. Okay, so that's the island over there. There's a reef back in the direction... Or a reef... Reaper Leviathan in the direction. Yes, I've memorized where, like, every Reaper Leviathan is. Or at least ones that I've encountered. Or seen. Be careful. We do not want two mountains. Alright, I want to say it was, like, down here somewhere, but... I love when it gets down to, like, that size, and you're like, couldn't I just pick it up at this point? But I guess it's still too, like, hard. Alright, well... No such luck. Maybe I'll check my recording again and see where I was. All right, let's head to that. Oh, here it is. Hey. Yeah. Time capsule. <laughs> Beware the abyss. Let's see. Ooh. At the edge of the world, when the cliffs fall and the water turns as black as night, the terror of the deep sea is unleashed. Avoid the void. Yeah. Do I get to keep that? The time capsules. That's so cool. Aw, oh, neat. Oh, wow. Whoa! Thank you! Holy shit! Whoever this was gave me, like, a bunch of, t um, ion batteries and stuff. Thank you so much, that's awesome. I don't know if that's just, like, the game themselves or whatever, but... Because, like, the time capsules, I think, are... I read about it. It's, like, people who beat the game upload to, like, a, a thing where they get, like, upvotes or whatever. Like, a thing, you know, that they, like, wrote or whatever. And then people can come across them. So it's like really cool. Okay. So that's pretty neat. I'm gonna plug this, sh this shit in. Yubbish. I think I can. Yeah. Woo! Holy shit. Yeah. Oh my god. How much bat power do I have? Or, well, I guess, out of... Whew! That's a lot of energy. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate very much. Cool. Um, okay. So, let's head to that island. I really don't want to, but let's do it. Ugh. Another one? Well, it's not the sunbeam, I know that. Screw. Yeah. Boosh. Right. I believe this is the safest one because then I can see where the Reaper's at. Because I know there's one at this side. If I see it appear, I will go ahead and hit my. Actually, you know what? Since I have the ability to, I should do that. There's the island. Oh, gotta be careful I don't hit it. Okay. That's also good. Do not hit land. Ugh. No like. Okay. There's the gun. You bitch. This area so much. Hate it. I 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 fucking hate it. I hate it. Please do Oh, there you are. I see you down there. He his beard. I fucking see you. I'm aware of you. I know you're there. God. 
I know this is your domain. How's my... Whoa, that drains power like crazy. Okay, then. Did not know that. Can I at least do that? Massive energy signature in the region. Yeah. Cannot identify it. <laughs> really? Can't you can't you can't identify it? I guess I can just use that to see where because it'll come up on my radar if the Reaper is gonna attack me. I'm pretty sure. But I'm gonna need my screw for this because Hi Warper. Oh I hate that. It's so creepy. I don't think I can get out with my prawn suit here, but I don't think I want to. Alright. Yeah, I know. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Ugh. Man, shut the fuck up! Boy. Shut up, shut up. I'm trying to park in a safe spot. Damn it. Engine powering down. Okay. Hang on, actually. It's offline. Are we safe here? We're gonna find out. We have nine minutes left. Until all hell breaks loose. This is Life Pod 4. Oh. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us, and I don't know how long we're gonna last. Is that? We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal right. coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Yeah, we've been to that one. Sorry, man. I already know your fate. Let's see. How is it? Oh, wow. I went through that power cell. Well, okay. I'm getting little blips of lag, and I don't know why. Okay, like, I'm actually getting lag. I don't, I don't think you guys... Well, I mean, you guys will see it too, but... It's not, like, the game capture. Like, it's actual lag on my end. Alright, we're here once again. Oh look, I can grab one of these. Yay! Cool. Island. Is that his land? Alrighty. What else is here? To look at. Oh yes, the the rock I climbed on top of and freaked myself out that one time. I thought I heard someone walking behind me and it ended up being a bird. Ah, uh, you bitch. Okay. Just gonna walk around a little bit. Check out what is he, uh... Oh, look at that. Have I already, uh, scanned the purple tablet? No, I don't think I have. Because I feel like the last time I did this, it, it made the thing disappear. Okay, cool. And they must have just fixed that then. At least I can be grateful that the Reaper off the coast is, like, pretty deep down there, so it's like, you know... Oh boy. Ow, sorry. Oh, okay. This one's broken. I didn't realize that. Got it. So they actually give you two intentionally. Okay. Wasn't aware of that. I should probably eat some before I came out here. Yeah, it's fine. I will try to get through the gun also in one episode if I can. Hopefully. Probably a lot of reading though, so I don't know. But we'll see. I mean, like, we've already done it before, so. Swim backwards. My dude's just like. Um. Looks like a gun, guys. I don't know about that. I apologize if it's at nighttime. Or is it gonna be at sunrise like it was? Wasn't that at sunrise at one point? I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a while. Alright, I'll shut up until the thing happens. So fun. My Cyclops is like, dee 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 <laughs> I help! <laughs> Alright, here we go. At sunrise. That's... Metal Gear Solid bullshit. It's 
like very Metal Gear Solid Final Fantasy 7 kind of the Mako Cannon. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. Where are you? We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. Trying to get both. It's coming from the building? Change course. Where's the sunbeam? Let's see. My game glitching. Ah. It boomed. Dang, they like really upgraded the explosion. I think. Oh, that noise. Fucking... <laughs> My Cyclops is beaking like, hey, you have a message. <laughs> Fucking precursor are bullshit. I mean, I get it, but... You can just send a message out to the universe like, hey, don't come here. It's quarantined. Or it's like even like a futuristic Shadow of the Colossus type moving thing. Just like that. Just like, shoot down a bunch of people. Back to stationary. Horrible. Alright. Now we head inside. Kind of tempted to see what that message is. Real quick. This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll yeah. have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Mm -hmm. Signal they? location uploaded to PDA. Alright. It's carbon based device, is lighter than it looks, and features a symbol which resembles a U lit up in purple. <laughs> Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. Well, the technology is far beyond Federation levels, There's and there's no obvious way to interface with it. It should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. Let's go inside. Also, hopefully this time I shouldn't drop frames like crazy like I did last time. Force field control. Hopefully. Because I did on my game capture, I dropped like so many... Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Hey, since I got those, um, hold on a sec. Since I got those, uh, batteries, do I have them? Can I make them? Do I have the blueprints for them? I doubt it, but I'm curious. No, I don't. They were just a gift. A great gift, though. I hella appreciate it. I think I can charge them, I hope. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. You guys can't see that. But it's ancient technologies. Unknown language. That sounds Attempting cool. Translation. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information to the device itself. It is likely a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designs were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment for their research card. Dude, like, seriously, if y'all had telepathy and shit, why couldn't you just send, like, a message out? I don't know. It's just, like, funny to me, but then we would never really cool video games, so. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Woman, how do you know more than I do? I'm just kidding. Julia. Oh, yeah, it's Ion Crystal. Or Ion Cube, sorry. 
Got it. It's so Minecrafty. It looks like a creeper. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, let's see. Does it still say that it has, like, each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of five kilotons of TNT? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So it's very creeper like. Okay, put the scanner Analysis away. Of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. They light up though, it's kinda cool. Now it's so interestingly like laid out. There's so many like nooks and crannies. I want that. It sounds so valuable. This thing. Oh god. Unknown language. Attempting translation. I wish they would be like okay. Enforcement platinum schematic platform schematic. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction materials. This facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There's no indication that it can be the music stopped. Damage or destroyed by available means. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section, where the schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a security-sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Yeah, like, poking me with a fucking... Anyway. I mean, what? Uh, okay, let's walk a little slower. Put that away. Alright. Oh, look! There's an elevator. Oh, boy. Ah! Whee! God, that would be so disorienting at first. Ebush. Whee! Land. Oh. Whoa. Okay. I didn't see that. Okay, so the life pod does have a signal. Got it. Hey, look, it's the moon pool. Don't know if I'm going to come in it yet, because I don't want to deal with reapers. It's interesting because it does seem... Whoa. What is that? That wasn't here last time. Alien rifle? Can I build one? I don't think I can, but... Strong resemblance to human weaponry in form, this device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built the structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed, the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility was a necessary precaution. Or a necessary. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Well, yeah, that's because they don't want us to have guns in this game. And I, I know why the creators did that. I think it was because they didn't want to make it like a, you know, go conquer it. No, no. No. You're supposed to go explore it and hope you don't die. Alright, is this the way to that, like, teleportation room? Yeah. So this I couldn't figure out last time. And I'm not sure why. Of course, I don't think I thought to scan it. Main arch. Structures that are purpose is unclear. Uh, ceremony. Oh, yeah, okay, maybe. Maybe not. Um, yeah, because there's no proper... Why does the music keep doing that? There's no clear, like, you know, insert something. But I think there's one out in the, uh... Oh, yeah, I forgot you can teleport to this island. You just have to do it via... the other <gasps> island. But I forget how exactly you do it. I love the light up stuff. But yeah, it's also very empty, so you have to wonder how much of this stuff actually is like, you know, something you activate or whatever. Or, you know, like, what of this is actually like panels and stuff to do a thing with. Sorry, I don't mean to move slow. I'm, like, terrified to know where that's at. Because that's, like... Ugh. Poor you. 
What is this thing? Alien device. It's freaking out. I think I've seen the doomsday device? I'm having like a massive deja vu suddenly. What the heck? Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with the most with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. I'm gonna back slowly away from that. Not like it matters. That little fucking thing could just be like, push, take out like half the fucking solar system. Really? I guess they would want to be able to deactivate or to destroy this planet, wouldn't they? But why the solar system? It's sad. Is there a thing up there? It looks like there's like stuff up there, like a ledge. Is there? Huh? Huh? I guess it's huh? just fancy. Alright, put this away. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. I saw. Hey, dude. Yeah, the aliens being this powerful, that's what makes this game so terrifying. It's like, uh, or this, like, their, their places, you know? Don't think there's anything else. Ugh. God, that's so terrifying. Interact. I love it. He's like, uh, uh oh. Ugh. Ouch. Nope. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Well, damn. Energy core. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Okay. This device houses energy equivalent of a hundred uh, megatons? I don't know what MT stands for. Nuclear detonation. Which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal. Allowing for the device to be deactivated, if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. Nuclear detonation. That's horrible. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility. Depth 800 meters. Location cave system with extensive fossil records. Southwest of enforcement platform. Function life assessment study. Objective synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Kara. Ah, uh, they changed it a little bit. Thermal power facility, depth 1,200 meters. Location inside of an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Function, generate energy for all local facilities. Sanctuary A, data corrupted. Sanctuary B, data corrupted. Offsite laboratory, data corrupted. Primary containment facility, data corrupted. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off world. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh... I hate to think of what that alien rifle can do, you know? Alrighty. Part of me kind of wants to explore the island, but I don't think there's anything really necessary up in the mountain. And then, good god, yep, that's in the mountains. Fuck. I think? I don't know. That makes me feel really sad. Huh? Poor you. Alright. Well, we explored this gun, and... You know, discovered stuff we already kind of knew, but it's fine. Whatever. But, um, yeah. So in the next episode, I don't know where I'm going to head. But I'd like to keep playing. Alright, guys. Thank you all for watching. Check the links at the end and the links in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. And until then, stay with me. Rock. Or wood. Whatever. <laughs> These guys are stupid. Where'd he go? I'm just gonna keep walking. I don't know.